If your cable assembly has arrived with the reducer visible on the cable, it has been assembled incorrectly. To correct this, begin by taking the number 122 1 8 hex key that comes in your hardware pack and remove the two side securing screws. Set them aside for later reinstallation. Once the screws are removed, push the quick release mechanism out of the housing from the cable side. Please note, there is a spring located on the inside along the yellow plastic component. Slide the unit out of the housing slowly and place your thumb over the spring once it becomes visible. Once clear from the housing, remove the ball shank from the cable lock at the base of the component and push the rubber cable stress reliever and the reducer through the end of the housing. Remove the cable stress reliever by pulling it firmly off the end over the ball shank. Once removed, position the reducer at the end of the cable so that it is in contact with the ball shank. Inject a silicone-based lubricant into the cable stress reliever. If none is available, a small amount of the provided weight stack lube can be used. Reinsert the ball shank and reducer into the narrow end of the cable stress reliever. Once secure, insert the same number 122 hex key used previously into the end of the cable stress reliever. Push both the reducer and ball shank through so that both pieces exit the other end. Remove the hex key from the cable stress reliever from its point of insertion. Now reinsert the cable stress reliever into the housing and insert the ball shank and reducer into the cable lock. Now reinsert the component into the housing. Reinstall the spring by applying pressure to the top of the spring, pushing it down into the spring seat as you reinsert the component into the housing. Release only after the spring has slid under the body housing. Once component is fully inserted into housing, reinsert and tighten the side securing screws to complete the reassembly.